Hello and welcome to yet another video here on the YouTube channel SDF Wargaming Studio. My name is Andreas Norwegian Viking and this is my faction review for Lake Town for Battle Companies. So, um, Lake Town, fantastic, fantastic warband. One of the highest starting uh, warbands for the good side. It starts off with a total of nine models. Um, so it has three Lake Town Guard. Two Lake Town Militia with Shield, two Lake Town Militia with Spear, and two Lake Town Militia with Bow. Um, only Lake Town Guard may be selected as heroes when you start your company. Um, and additionally, you can have 20 models rather than 15. So it has the advantage to spam out a lot of troops. And uh, although low defense troops are good troops um, at that. Uh, I do think Lake Town is a very good uh, company to, to have, um, especially in the start with so many models, you can claim objectives, you can surround and outnumber your enemies, and uh, you have a lot of lot of opportunities there. You also have um, two bows starting, not the, in the biggest one, but you have the option to, to get more bows as you go, as, um, as you get, uh, you have a lot of, to work with on your bow limit. Uh, it can include um, two more bows from the get-go. So you can basically, um, if you if you do the reinforcement result, I'll do this once. Uh, on a one, you get nothing. On a two, you get a late time militia with shield. Uh, on a three, it's a late time militia with spear. On a four, it's a late time militia with bow, and then. Um, it's a Lake Town Guard with choice of weapons, and on the 6, it's 2 Lake Town Guard with your choice of weapons. So if you get a 6 straight off the get-go, you can just get yourself 2 Lake Town Guard with bows to maximise your bow limit. Um, I, I think that is quite, quite good. So, obviously, Lake Town Guard, um, Lake Town Militia have all the advancement tables, and they become a Lake Town Guard with that weapon. So, with shield, it loses its shield. Um, but becomes a Lake Town Guard. I don't know if that's the best advancement, um, to be honest. Uh, but Lake Town Militia with Spear becomes Lake Town Guard with Spear, and Lake Town Militia with Bow becomes Lake Town Guard with Bow. Um, their army specific hero upgrade is the Master's Purse Strings. At the start of the fight phase, before any heroic actions are declared, the hero can spend a might point. If they do so, the fight value of all friendly models within 6 inches is increased by 1 until the end phase of that turn. And that is quite a powerful special rule to have. I think that is fantastic. So, Lake Town Guard is, uh, well, Lake Town. Uh, you can spam a lot of heroes. Um, you do have the option to include um, to include lots of things, uh, like um, for instance, you can you can get dogs uh, for it. So you, you do you do have the ability to gain quite a lot of models. All your heroes can have a guard dog or hunting dog. Um, so that's twenty three models you can have in your warband. You can also have um, you can also get a local scout, so you do have the the ability to to basically spam out half an army on the battlefield at once. So, uh, so yeah, um, it doesn't have like it can become quite hard in the late game. Because you do have a lot of squishy models, uh, so combat orientated armies can take it out quite fast. Um, but you also have the ability to get like your your guard can become quite powerful heroes as well. So it all depends on whether um, or not your uh, your late time militia will die fast in the game. Because if you spend your influence points to constantly recruit more models and and, and not spend that influence points to uh, to get uh, better equipment for your for your heroes that makes the the Lake Town uh, militia the Lake Town Guard army quite stagnant so only the heroes advance a bit but your model count stays the same 
I would try to get this model count as high as possible, as fast as possible, um, and, and just spam Oreos, uh, spam them, and, and just hope they get uh, to become heroes to get that fate point on it. And, uh, and yeah, so it's quite easy to, to build a Legtown army, um, or Legtown <laughs> Battle Company army, uh, especially with the new um, with the new um, combined packs of, uh, of Funcast miniatures. You can now just get one of each, one of the Legtown Guard and one of the Legtown Militia, and then you're set. You'll have two of each extra for the Militia, and you'll have one extra Legtown Guard with sword, and uh, four of each of the uh, with shield, uh, well, with the spear and the bow. So you, you do have everything you need right there, two boxes, done. Um, so yeah, it's good. So um, similarly to, to Arnor, uh, I think this is a good uh, starting company, not as quite as high defense, uh, but it's, it's, I think this is good. So tell me what you think in the comments. Am I right? Am I wrong? Um, what company do you want me to do a review on next? Please tell me in the comments. Until next time, I've been Andreas Norwegian Viking. Please comment, like, share and subscribe. Consider supporting STF on Patreon using the link in the description below. And as always, support your hobby.